আসসালামু আলাইকুম জি যেখানে আছেন সবাইকে দলার অফ বাংলাদেশ থেকে শুভ সন্ধ্যা এবং শুভেচ্ছা আজকে এই ইউসিবি প্রেজেন্স মিড দ্য ব্যাস্ট্র প্রোগ্রামে আপনাদের সবাইকে আমন্ত্রণ জানাচ্ছি আজকে আমাদের সাথে দুজন এমন মানুষ রয়েছেন যারা ফাইন্যান্সিয়াল অঙ্গনে তাদের অনেক বড় পরিচয় রেখেছেন অনেক বড় অবদান রেখেছেন এই প্রোগ্রামে যাওয়ার আগে আমি একটু বলতে চাই ভেলোর বাংলাদেশ সম্বন্ধে যে ভেলোর বাংলাদেশ একটি নন প্রফিট অর্গানাইজেশন যেখানে আমরা বিভিন্ন অঙ্গন থেকে পনেরো জন লিডারকে একত্র করে কর্পোরেট লিডার কমিউনিটি লিডার অ্যান্ড ফাইন্যান্সিয়াল লিডার অ্যাজ ওয়েল এস অ্যাকাডেমিশিয়ানসকে একত্র করে আমরা নলেজ শেয়ার করার উদ্দেশ্য করে এই প্ল্যাটফর্মটা তৈরি করা হয়েছে এবং আজকের যে প্রোগ্রামটা আমাদের মিড দ্য ম্যাস্ট্রো এখানে আমরা নেক্সট আজকে থেকে শুরু করে নেক্সট আটটা সেশনে আমরা আটজন ম্যাস্ট্রো থেকে শুনব যারা তাদের নিজস্ব সেক্টরে কিভাবে অবদান রেখেছেন এবং এই সেক্টরগুলিতে কি ঘটছে এবং সামনে কি করা উচিত প্লাস অ্যাট দ্য সেম টাইম এটা এমন একটা সেশন যেখানে আমরা আমাদের যারা অ্যাসপায়ারিং যারা এই সেক্টরে যারা অ্যাসপায়ারিংস আছেন তাদেরকেও আজকের প্রোগ্রামটা শোনার পরে তারাও আম শিওর উদ্বুদ্ধ হয়ে এই সেক্টরে কাজ করার জন্য এগিয়ে আসবেন সো আমি এখন চলে যাব আর সময় নষ্ট না করে বেলার বাংলাদেশের একজন ট্রাস্টি প্লাস ডিরেক্টর রিসার্চ অ্যান্ড ডেভেলপমেন্ট অ্যান্ড পাবলিশিং ডক্টর শাহ মোহাম্মদ আহসান হাবিব উনি অ্যাট দ্য সেম টাইম ইজ অলসো ডিরেক্টর বাংলাদেশ ইনস্টিটিউট অফ ব্যাংক ম্যানেজমেন্ট সো আমি এখন চলে যাব ডক্টর শাহ মোহাম্মদ আহসান হাবিবের কাছে আহসান ভাই ওভার টু ইউ and uh selim bhai all the best to you thank you thank you thank you uh, alwa bhai uh, good evening assalam alaikum shubho sandha uh, let me welcome you all to our two days event of valor of bangladesh ucb meet the maestro apra jenechen alwa bhai ei matro bollen apnara janen যে ভ্যালোর অফ বাংলাদেশের এই প্ল্যাটফর্মে আমরা দেশের স্বনামধন্য বিজনেস লিডার্স এক্সপার্টস মাইস্ট্রোজ যারা দেশের বিভিন্ন অর্থনৈতিক অঙ্গনে মাস্টারিং করছেন অবদান রাখছেন তাদের সম্পৃক্ত করার সুযোগ প্রয়াস চালাই এবং তাদের মতামত বক্তব্য আপনাদের কাছে পৌঁছে দেই এবং আমাদের গবেষণার খুবই গুরুত্বপূর্ণ ইনপুট হিসাবে বা তথ্য হিসেবে এগুলোকে আমরা সংরক্ষণ করি আজকে যে বিষয় নিয়ে আমরা একজন মাইস্ট্রোকে আমাদের সাথে সম্পৃক্ত করার চেষ্টা করছি করেছি ব্যাংকিং খাতের জায়েন্টের সাথে আমরা মিট করতে যাচ্ছি সে বিষয়টি হল বিজনেস প্রসেস রি ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং অ্যান্ড টেকনোলজি আমরা একটা একটু পরিচয় পরিচয় করিয়ে দিই আমি আজকের আমন্ত্রিত অতিথিকে সেলিম বরকত ভাই আমাদের খুব কাছের এবং পরিচিত একজন মানুষ এবং আমার মনে হয় তাকে আলাদা করে পরিচয় করিয়ে দেওয়ার কিছু নেই আপনারা ওনাকে জানেন ইজ হ্যাভিং এ ফ্যান্টাস্টিক প্রফেশনাল ক্যারিয়ার এখন উনি হাবিব ব্যাংক লিমিটেডের কান্ট্রি ম্যানেজার হিসেবে আছেন আমার বাংলাদেশে বিফোর জয়নিং হাবিব ব্যাংক লিমিটেড ইন অগস্ট টু he worked for 30 years with city bank na and of which he has spent last 20 years at city bank head office in new york and and he played a remarkable role in handling investment banking and broker dealer portfolio of city bank na during the global financial crisis of 2007 2008 selim bhai we proud of you Now, welcome. Let me welcome 
সেলিম বরকত টুডে ইন টুডে ইভেন্ট এবং আপনাকে স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি সেলিম ভাই কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাচ্ছি আমাদেরকে সময় দেওয়ার জন্য আমাদের আমন্ত্রণে সারা দেওয়ার জন্য আজকের ইভেন্টটাকে আমরা যেভাবে সাজিয়েছি আমি একটু একটু অল্প সময়ে একটু ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড আপনাদের সামনে রাখব টপিকের ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড ভ্যালোর অফ বাংলাদেশের ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড আমরা শুনেছি এরপরে সরাসরি আলোচনা শুনব সেলিম ভাইয়ের কাছ থেকে এর মাঝখানে যারা আজকে শ্রোতা মণ্ডলী আছেন লিসেনার্স আছেন তারা প্রশ্ন করবেন সেই প্রশ্নগুলো উনি কথার মাঝে মাঝে উত্তর দিতে পারেন বা শেষে এগুলোকে উত্তর করতে পারেন এবং সবশেষে এটাকে সাম আপ করবেন আমাদের সবচেয়ে অ্যাক্টিভ ট্রাস্টি আসলে উনি মূল ইনিশিয়েটার আলবাব ভাই নাজবুজ আহমেদ আলবাব নাও অ্যাবাউট দ্য টপিক অ্যাবেট আমরা এটা তো বাই দিস টাইম পোস্টার থেকে জেনে গেছি that we will be talking about a uh, radical redesigning of business processes and how technology is really really crucial and 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 in this context i think you will agree that covid 19 in this covid 19 we hardly have any alternative other than uh, i mean going for major transformation redesigning to sustain bodh hoy apnara shobai agree korben now ei je ei je ei je necessity সময়ের প্রয়োজন যেখানে টেকনোলজির রেলেভেন্স আমি শিওর সেলিম ভাইয়ের আলোচনার মূল জায়গাটা এখানে কতটা প্রয়োজন আজকের এই পরিপ্রেক্ষিতে আজকের এই কোভিড নাইন্টিনের কনটেক্সটে এছাড়া যে জিনিসটা একটু ওনার কাছ থেকে যে আমরা জানতে চাইবো আমরা শুনতে চাইবো সেটা হলো এই যে গ্লোবাল ব্যাংকিং ট্রান্সফরমেশন টেকনোলজি অ্যাডপশন যেটা চলছে এটা কতভাবে কিভাবে এফিসিয়েন্ট ক্রেডিট ডেলিভারি এবং এবং ক্লায়েন্ট ম্যানেজমেন্টে ব্যাংকে হেল্প করতে পারে ফাইন্যান্সিয়াল ইনস্টিটিউশনগুলোকে হেল্প করতে পারে আপনি আপনি সেলিম ভাই জানেন অবগত আছেন আমাদের শ্রোতা মণ্ডলীও জেনে থাকবেন যে আমরা মডার্ন যে সবস্টিকেটেড মোস্ট মডার্ন টেকনোলজি ব্লক চেইন এটা আমরা ব্যবহার করা শুরু করেছি আমরা পাইলটিং করছি এবং ব্যাংকিং সেক্টরও করেছি এবং রিসেন্টলি কিন্তু আমরা দেখেছি যে স্ট্যান্ডার্ড ব্যাংক পাইলট করেছে এইচএসবিসি ব্যবহার করেছে প্রাইম ব্যাংকও ব্যবহার করার চেষ্টা করেছে তার মানে এগুলো ব্যবহার করা যেতে পারে হয়তো সামনের দিনে এগুলো রেগুলার টেকনোলজি হিসেবে আমাদের এই ট্রান্সফরমেশনের সাথে আমরা সম্পৃক্ত করতে পারব তো একটু আমরা জানতে চাইব অবশ্যই যে এই এই ধরনের মডার্ন টেকনোলজি ব্যবহার করে আমরা যদি ট্রেড সার্ভিসেস করি তাহলে সেটা কতটা এফিসিয়েন্টলি কস্ট এফেক্টিভ ম্যানারে আমাদের ফাইন্যান্সিয়াল ব্যাংকিং সেক্টরে বড় ধরনের পরিবর্তন আনতে পারে অ্যান্ড অবভিয়াসলি অ্যাজ এ হোল আপনি আপনার আপনি এই ফিল্ডে মাস্টারিং করছেন আপনি ভালো জানেন যেটা আপনার কাছ থেকে আমরা শুনতে চাইব যে বিজনেস প্রসেস রিঞ্জিনিয়ারিংয়ের টেকনোলজি অ্যাডপশনের মাধ্যমে কি করে আমরা আমাদের ব্যাংকিং সেক্টরকে একটা সাস্টেনেবল একটা স্ট্রং সাউন্ড ব্যাংকিং ফুটিংয়ে দাঁড় করাতে পারি আমি নিশ্চিত আজকের আলোচনার মাধ্যমে আজকের আমাদের সম্মানিত মাইস্ট্রো শ্রোতাদের এবং আমাদের ভেলোর অফ বাংলাদেশের গবেষণাকে সমৃদ্ধ করবেন সেলিম ভাই সম্মানিত শ্রোতা শ্রোতা মণ্ডলী আপনাদেরকে জানিয়ে দিচ্ছি যে ভেলোর অফ বাংলাদেশ বছ বছর শেষে যে জার্নালটি প্রকাশ করবে আজকের যে বক্তব্য আজকের যে আলোচনা তার প্রতিফলন আমরা সেখানে পাব থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ ওভার টু ইউ সেলিম ভাই অনেক ধন্যবাদ আসান হাবিব ভাই ফার্স্টলি গ্রেট প্রিভিলেজ আমার জন্য টু টু গেট হিয়ার অ্যান্ড টু টু বি স্পিকিং টু দিস ভেরি ডিস্টিংগুইসড অডিয়েন্স রাইট অফ দ্য ব্যাট আপনার ইন্ট্রোডাকশনের জন্য অসংখ্য ধন্যবাদ এখানে টার্মটা ইউজ করা হচ্ছে মাইস্ট্রো বাট ইউ নো দ্যাট ইজ বাই নো মিনস ইউ নো ইট অ্যাপ্লাইজ টু মি সো আমার শুধু বয়স বেড়েছে চাকরির অনেক বছর হয়ে গেছে থার্টি ফোর ইয়ার্স বাট বিয়ন্ড দ্যাট ইউ নো আই এম ভেরি হ্যাপি টু শেয়ার মাই ভিউজ অ্যাবাউট অ্যাবাউট দিস পার্টিকুলার টপিক উইচ ইজ সো সো কনসিকুয়েন্সিয়াল টু এভরি ইনস্টিটিউশন নট অনলি ব্যাংকিং ইট গোজ ওয়েল বিয়ন্ড দ্য ব্যাংকিং সেক্টর um yet to ami banking sector e kaaj kori shetu you know it it has some relevance and i can probably be in a position to share some of my experience um first and foremost i think amra jokhon apnar process reengineering bolchi ba transformation jokhon bolchi um uh, for one thing we do realize that you know it a it a one time exercise na eta it is a continuous process of reinventing yourself and reinventing the organization it a projon can it a projon the main uh, uh, driving factor which a change ebong amra sobai jani je change is the only constant um 
So business evolution, you know, as it happens over time, the, the organizations also try to work along with it. You know, they understand and assess the, the changes and they start tweaking their organization uh, accordingly. Should the matter of business process, Katrina, uh, even in terms of strategic objective, our near term, I mean, longer term, our objective key would say, shit, okay. I mean, as we as we go on to align our strategy um, over time, it it compels us to go back and 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 re you know uh, re-engineer or at least reassess and revalidate the existing processes. Now, world the the business cycle. There are certain events that happen. Those are inflection points. So when we talk about inflection points, it are manuchije okhane apnar apni jee shabd use kore sen radical, radical change. Sheta ashe. Before I get on to uh, COVID nineteen, I mean apna ke just ekta ekta udaran dey. This is basically from my from my live experience uh, uh, while I was working at Citibank uh, at the head office in New York. Uh, 2007 and 2008 a financial crisis but the preamble to uh, this financial crisis was you know, there was a lot of uh, heating up of the real estate uh, market but our story to say with regards to city group which is my previous employer I'm very glad to have spent 30 years with uh, with city group um, city group back in 1997 1998 um, it used to be known as a company called city corp and City Corp even Travelers Group, a guitar group, Tokan Marsh Kore. Even a Marsh Jokon Kore, Tokan, the idea was that, you know, that we would be creating a financial super store where, you know, one could basically come in and start buying from insurance to the brokerage account to uh, personal checking account to housing loans and, 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 um, and, you know, financing for vehicles, you know, everything they were uh, able to do. Age of our concept of a base quality that a merge could look. Shitter Shitaro of the background of the Travelers Group was a company that basically evolved through MA. So they had a, they, it, it was initially American Express, then they acquired a company called Solomon Brothers. Solomon Brothers was one of the foremost uh, investment banking companies uh, at that time. Ebong, Solomon Smith Barney, I'm sorry. So Smith Barney. Smith Barney Chilo era chilo apnar retail brokerage house. The the issue was acquisition holo, it rapidly holo, they did not get a chance to really integrate their processes together. They did not really get a chance to put all their technological platforms on the same footing. Um, and the, the technological systems were not speaking to each other. city corporation merging Now, while all this is going on, 2000, 2001, and in these we are talking about very, very large companies uh, and, and very complex uh, uh, backbone, uh, technological backbone. In order for all of these to be brought over onto a single platform, and you're talking about 70, 80, 100 years of data, you know, that was all uh, being pulled together. Um, it developed in 2007, 2008 financial crisis. Now, the problem was because the systems were not speaking to each other. Uh, if you were dealing with one particular company, even Amar portfolio, there were some uh, companies who were really badly hit, even quite a uh, bankruptcy, you know, file of when we were looking to understand what kind of an exposure, risk exposure, do we have to this particular client in a very volatile environment, we had people, and these are mathematicians and statisticians who were basically pulling up uh, uh, manual information from one system and manual information from the other system. Smith Barney, up their futures, their trading, their platform, chulo shay data niye, sheta shange, up their derivatives, up their. Uh, uh, Salman Brothers a system a key asset shatter correlation key among both offset hobby she offset a base for another exposure to the key have a risk exposure key have it a quarter that had a risk exposure information data shatter it took us more than a week to get to that information and within a week the world had changed so you're talking about you know uh, 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 the the market tanking at lightning speed 
and we were like an oil tanker basically going at 20 knots uh, uh, an hour. The point in case is these inflection points, these particular events, they are, are uh, uh, they, they teach you lessons that you need to keep your back end and your processes, et cetera, completely up to par with whatever your strategic you know, decision is. Even ita jokhon amader COVID-19 holo, COVID-19 amader amener kotha na, but uh, otherwise, it basically showed us how um, how you know different the market just turned on a dime you know overnight overnight but uh, but the world has changed the world has completely changed the expectation of of uh, of our client base is completely different um i mean both and i must say this um the country manager have a bank ticket and they can have um the expressions the information i'm share course the views that i'm sharing those are not reflective of Habib banks uh, those are my personal own uh, own personal views so um yeah, I should have mentioned that right at the beginning. But that being said, um, inflection pointage of changes it makes it very, very important for us to be in a situation where we can respond to these uh, these uh, uh, changes you know, quickly enough. Now, Amada Juno. Amra protect our organizations and Amra Katskuri, Dr. Amra Kikuri, Amra, we do a testing. A testing takisha high, it was a disruption testing high. So we go through stress models and, and we basically look at our own business and say, do the Amar a business environment act a particular consideration, act to the factor, do the change high? And what does it mean in terms of our business? Uh, do I need to change a radical, you know, bring about a radical change in my business strategy, or is it does it require a slight tweaking? Should I take on additional risk? Should I, you know, uh, to, should I de risk my portfolio? All of that question comes up, right? Um, COVID 19 situation, you know, obviously it was, it is a period of plight for everybody, you know, at individual level uh, to the organization level. Amader Shabai Amra impacted who is he? Kintu, it also is showing us where our weaknesses, our inherent weaknesses are within our company, uh, our, our own companies. And uh, this, the technological change that was expected uh, to happen over the course of, this, let's say, next five years, it is happening today. So suddenly I have to look at you know, uh, the, the strategic change of my uh, company that I'm looking to get to in five years. I'm I'm not five years away for Jabana, I'm an ethnic. So the need from um, uh, from the need arising from COVID-19 is making us do things to stay relevant. I'm I'm a joker on a business query, I'm a you know be it banking or otherwise. It is always about remaining relevant. I'm a joker irrelevant to Jabba talking that we we tend to lose market share or we tend to lose uh, you know our business. Um, Re-engineering as a concept, it is not only about reducing cost. So, so I mean, our it has to do with our strategic direction. It has to do with our tactical decisions that we take. It is about staying nimble and agile. It is about responding to market situations quickly enough. Um, I mean, re-engineering the and if I have to undertake an exercise, I have to understand that it is fit for the purpose. Another COVID-19 you know, has made it very important uh, for us to look at it, look at the strategy as a whole. You know, it is not a brick and mortar business anymore. Um, the, um, the distribution system, distribution channels are completely changed now. Now, what is also interesting is, along with this, Amadir Bangladesh Pori Poli, I'm just bully jam their population. I'm uh, I mean, retail banking bully, SME bully, or corporate banking bully. I mean, did they mean population demographics? Did they worry? One third of the population is under 30 years old. Even I mean, you know, at my age, I struggle to catch up with the technological change. I'm a nephew, but I both her give him an iPad. You know, he is very comfortable in in you know scrolling through and figuring out which which cartoon to uh, to pick. There's a fundamental difference in in the generations. 
আমরা যারা যারা মিডল এইজে বা লেটার পার্ট অফ লেটার পার্ট অফ আওয়ার লাইফস আমরা কিন্তু উই আর কাইন্ড অফ ফেডিং ইন দ্য ইন দ্য সানসেট দ্য নিউ জেনারেশন দ্যাট ইজ কামিং আপ ওয়াট দ্য এক্সপেকটেশন ইজ আ লট মোর দিস আর দিস আর সেভি পিপল কম্পিউটার সেভি পিপল দিস আর পিপল হু আর লুকিং এট ইউ নো মাল্টিটাস্কিং থ্রু সো মেনি ডিফারেন্ট অ্যাপস সোশ্যাল মিডিয়াতে এক্সট্রিমলি এক্সট্রিমলি অ্যাকটিভ রাইট সো ওদের কাছে ইফ ইউ আস দেন দ্যাট ইউ হ্যাভ টু গো টু আ ব্যাঙ্ক to deposit your check and they'll say you know give me an alternative can i can't i do this sitting at at home you know with a with an image and um, and and if that is the case why do i need to go to uh, the bank now for me as a bank ami kintu ami kintu jehon dekhi je that is what the expectation is then i need to come back and basically say you know how do i meet that expectation so um so embracing digital environment is an inevitable so amra shobai tai arambha korechi and and we are you know we are pretty well aware that all the banks have rolled out uh, electronic banking apps um you know um there are and and i must give credit to our regulators the regulators have been extremely you know it's a delight to see our regulators coming up and 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 driving the the digital uh, uh, agenda for the banking sector আমরা আমাদের পিয়ার কান্ট্রিজ যারা আছে তাদের থেকে আমরা অনেক এগিয়ে আছি ইন দ্যাট রেসপেক্ট স্টেইং রেলিভেন্ট পার্ট আই বেসিকলি সেট টেকনোলজি আমাদের এখন আমরা যখন বলি যে আমাদের বিজনেস স্ট্র্যাটেজি ইট ইস নো মোর ইন দ্য পেরিফেরি এটা হচ্ছে একদম কোর স্ট্র্যাটেজির একটা পার্ট so so the the technology the business strategy you know everything has to go hand in hand i mean actor example the age porjonto amader um onek institution e amader technology head jara chilo they used to report into into an operations head and the operations head used to uh represent the entire operations into the executive committee or the management committee as we call it um আমরা অনেকে কিন্তু উই বেসিকলি পুলড আর টেকনোলজি হেড অ্যান্ড এসেনশিয়ালি ইয়ার ব্রট দেম ওভার ইন টু আর ম্যানেজমেন্ট কমিটি অ্যান্ড দ্য এক্সিকিউটিভ কমিটি অ্যান্ড অলসো দ্য বিজনেস কমিটি টু মেক শিওর দ্যাট উই আর গোয়িং ইন ট্যান্ড অ্যান্ড উই ক্যান নট এফোর্ড টু বি ইন দ্য পজিশন উইয়ার উইয়ার টেকনোলজি ইস ল্যাগিং বিহাইন্ড উইয়ার অ্যাজ আর ইউ নো আর স্ট্র্যাটেজি ইস ফরওয়ার্ড লুকিং সো ইট হ্যাজ টু গো অ্যাবসলুটলি হ্যান্ড ইন হ্যান্ড দি বিজনেস প্রসেস রি ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং আমি যখন বলছি তখন তখন বলছি যে there's another side to it one is the strategy the other is really in terms of making sure that we are not incurring expenses due to errors you know economic the franchise risk issue to last year you know am i you know we we are talking about fat finger issues right um um equity likhte gaye je 10 koti hoye jay you know it has a big a significance right uh, errors can lead to uh, regulatory penalties so i'm talking i'm not talking uh john bolsi the the business process uh, reengineering the the lesser the uh the human intervention the better it is so so amader jonno it's very important that we look at the 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 back end and and also the strategy and bring them together um this one other point that i think is uh, worthy of mentioning and if you give me a quick second let me just take a sip hmm. for the 20 years that i was out of the country the banking sector has really moved on um we have you know 5960 banks um, operating in the country আপনারা যদি ব্যাংকিং প্রোডাক্টস যদি দেখেন আমাদের ব্যাংকিং প্রোডাক্টসগুলি ইউ মে সি ডিফারেন্ট নেইমস ইউ মে সি ইউ নো ডিফারেন্ট ওয়ে অফ মার্কেটিং দোজ দ্য সেলস পিচ এটসেট্রা বাট ইফ ইউ টেক ডাউন আন্ডার নিচ এট মোস্ট অফ দ্য ব্যাংকিং প্রোডাক্টস আর প্রিটি মাচ দ্য সেম ইউ আর নট টকিং অ্যাবাউট আ রেডিক্যালি ডিফারেন্ট প্রোডাক্ট দ্যাট ইজ বিং ইন্ট্রোডিউসড ইন দ্য মার্কেট সো 
So the reason why I'm saying this is, if you're looking at the banking products today, you know, these are commoditized. So what does commodity, the commoditizing means? It really means that if you are a client of a banking service or a banking product, you are you have the ability to look at, you know, 20, 30 different banks, look at comparable products, you know, which are pretty much the same. And, and you know, there may be a slight difference in pricing. So you can basically pick one or the other without really thinking much. So the, the question comes in is for the bank, how do you, you know, how do you differentiate yourself from the other? And technology is the answer. And that's where we, we basically look at it and we basically say, you know, it's the delivery, it's the time to market that you have to think about and you have to push it out. It's the convenience of doing banking, the ease of doing business. You know, that is going to be the, the key differentiator. So for us as a bank, whatever part that we're looking at, you know, be it, uh, um, be it uh, back office automation, be it, um, you know, the, the credit process for approving a loan, you know, everything has to, has to you know the, uh, the 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 timing of it the efficiency of it you know, and the ease of business ease of doing business essentially leads to uh, the differentiator so that differentiation is purely based on technology and how much you know we basically uh, put our uh, time and effort and money you know into building that uh, technological backbone back office automation or, or basically process re-engineering in that way. Um, uh, we have come a long way. Um, you know, if you think about uh, from the clearing services uh, to the to the fund transfer uh, systems um, that uh, the banks are able to do, the MS MFS organizations, the fintechs are able to do, um, that has a lot to do um, with the automation of the back office. The way things are coming up, and the way you know the the transaction volumes etc are, are picking up it is it is almost imminent that you will have um, uh, uh, financial services providers to the banks and these are these are companies who are going to be primarily uh, technology companies who will essentially take over the back end processing of uh, of the banks it is farming out data it is western world and and there are companies who basically farm it out to a third vendor you know, who who executes all these uh, transactions for them and the and the real idea is that you can really take that on and you can basically farm that out and 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 devote your resources to more value added uh, 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 initiatives um even it a uh, a farming out project agent because if you're thinking about, you know, um, basically running your your bank on a mainframe, you know, every time that you want to scale up, it's very very expensive. You know, our economy, our cloud, Bangladesh is actually internationally on a bigger scale. So, if you are scaling up, you know, based on um, based on cloud, it is that you farming out a So you will see. The, the regular, you know, uh, uh, small fee based uh, transactions that are occurring, you will probably see a lot of the other companies who are going to be coming and and helping out the banks. Amade um, Jannah, as a as a financial institution, I don't think it makes sense for us to be in the execution part of it. You know, you can have that part of the work given out to companies who are um, essentially, you know building the expertise to do it you know uh, time and time again you know with probably a six sigma in mind for the banks to do, to do that you know may turn out to be a lot more expensive i'm not able to i'm not ekyc they can see another anti-money laundering uh their rules and regulations they can see shaken at jay or a collision why these are work that the regulatory you know these are part of the good governance that the regulators expect us to do but ugly shop kitchen i'm the hot air okay the shop show my hobby not necessary you know uh, and that farming out will probably happen um, over time so i think uh you know that that basically is going to be coming through um asan habib bhai actor kotha bole chilen je transformation through technology how does it uh, contribute to um, efficient credit and client management um i think i think it it you know it has 
started happening already um, in in great deal of banks, and, and there are some some local banks who are doing a fabulous job of it. Um, and I can say that simply because you know, I have to call them up uh, from time to time on different issues and the way that they respond, uh, it's it's uh, phenomenal. Um, I can just turn around time, just to the standardization of um, of uh, you know um, customer query response, just to the automated system, just to the she back end. I think uh, they are they are adding a lot of value onto that. Um, where it becomes a bit of a big question is really in terms of credit management. Even credit management, I'm going to to technology uh, uh, engagement to uh, the um, there's a use of AI artificial intelligence and and that is coming in in a big way artificial intelligence you know um, they, they are using artificial intelligence for uh, both inductive and deductive logic um, so what it really means is as a bank based on the data points of you know of the borrower we can actually use an and an analysis and uh, give an indication of you know how likely is it uh, for the um, uh, for the borrower to default on on repayment you can have judgment factors on it but that borrow jokhani amra jodi amra boli corporate banking sme or uh, retail banking jodi boli the retail banking is the one which is you know which is uh, uh, which is conducted uh, a lot based on a statistical model um, so what it really means is that you're not going to their data points and there's something called a FICO score America so after shower individual cake or the credit needs are keep our repayment to check other earnings got to a bomb quite a credit card as it other boring capacity key as a shit of a base for India there's a FICO score that is uh, that is uh, put together and the AI you know, basically takes that data and essentially does you know an analysis and gives you um, gives the the financial institution an indication of you know how uh, um, how worthy that particular uh, potential borrower is to get the uh, to 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 be getting the money that he or she had applied for. Um, Technology side, the I mean, both credit side, the actor dinish by the stuff by Kub Halogabe, Amade Ekane, Amade regulators, the Shange, Amade Bulija, the SEC Shange, the Amade Ekane, Joksha Jok Parajai, even if we can bring our systems together where they can talk to each other by the Jetta Hai, Akner, um, the database Jetta Asse, Jetta SEC filing thicket, the there are companies, the rating agencies, they basically pick up all the information on the companies and they can actually feed it to you. So you, or I can talk an intermediary, they can feed it into your own rating system. So the information will be fed on into your system. So if you run the process, you will automatically not only get the all the information, but also the analysis on that. So I mean, financial modeling, the bully financial modeling, a protector step or I can do it. You can get um, a rating of the client and get, get an indication of whether or not if this is a client worthy of you to look at. Um, so, so this becomes, you know, this becomes a very uh, attractive area for us to look at. Um, so, I mean, risk modeling or cutholes and risk modeling is, you know, absolutely an area where, um, where such, you know, uh, technology can play a big role. Um, fintechs are better. I mean, the Western world, the fintechs have started eating the, the lunch and dinner of the banks. Uh, the banks are um, actively getting disintermediated. And uh, it's only inevitable that that will happen here as well. Um, for us as a financial institution, when we are transforming our technology, uh, we we want to do it as a as a as a composite uh, solution. Another bankage and law. So we want to do it. You know, bring everything onto the same platform and 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 uh, make sure that everything fits in together. Um, and fintechs, uh, they are very specific, product focused. You know, with the speed, 
uh, that they can do and the amount of technology that they can infuse the um, especially in terms of uh, payments and uh, remittances etc you know I, I don't think the banks will will be in a position to compete with them so jeta na ki apnar western world e jeta arambho hoyeche ebong okhane banks you know they have gotten into strategic alliance they have formed partnerships with the fintech companies um and um these fintech companies you know are essentially you know um, eating away the market share of the banks and it's 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 only logical for the banks to essentially recognize that and go into a strategic partnership rather than seeing their market share erode um so disintermediation it can happen um, absolutely um, is a big factor for us to look at um i mean patna strategic alliance er kotha bollam fintech er kotha bollam um blockchain er kotha ami ektu ektu khane touch korte chai um uh, and and blockchain and technology are obviously you know they they go hand in hand um before i move on to blockchain there's one particular point that i wanted to mention here um bangladesh is a apnar initiative jeklo neya hocche ekhon to drive um technological changes um there is a um, uh, uh, there's an initiative with startups that the government has taken uh, extremely commendable you know it's a, it's it's not very hefty amounts uh, in in capital that you provide but the fact that you you offered that particular capital for startups you know for the young generation to come in and start looking at new ways of doing things you know, that in itself is is a is a fabulous uh, initiative um uh, moving on to blockchain um amar dharona hocche je apnar blockchain is we should be looking at it more as a part of good governance and then when i say good governance you know it has to do with transparency it has to do with accuracy it has to do with uh, with the 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 sanctity of the information that we get from the systems um on the trader khatre you know commendable some of the foreign banks here have started uh, using that for trade transactions you can have multiple stakeholders there are touch points as say even uh, through the blockchain you are basically being able to make sure that that everybody is aware of what the other you know, and these are interrelated functions and those interrelated functions basically feed in and and essentially are tagged to each other sheta jekom ache i think এর আগে আমি যেটা বলেছেন যে আপনার ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল আপনার রিটেল সেগমেন্টে যেটা নাকি আপনার রিটেল ক্রেডিট স্কোর ম্যাট্রিক্সের কথা বলেছেন আমেরিকা যেটা আছে ফাইকো ফাইকো স্কোর ব্লক চেন ক্যান ব্লক চেন ক্যান অ্যাকচুয়ালি প্লে আ বিগ রোল ইন দ্যাট এটা আমি আমি মনে করি যে আপনার ব্লক চেন ইজ অলসো ইনএভটেবল বাট ব্লক চেন আমার এখানে করতে গেলে আমাদের অবশ্যই ইউ নো উই হ্যাভ টু থিঙ্ক অফ আ ক্লাউড বেসড সিস্টেম even a cloud is obviously you know uh, it is coming up um, it isn't there yet but uh, overall i think it is uh, moving in the right direction um, blockchain is again inevitable um, it it ashbe kotha thakle ashbe seta kichuta depend korbe amader regulatory support er upor amader regulatory framework jeta thakbe setar upor base kore we have to probably uh, we have to see you know how soon this blockchain uh, moves ahead um আমি যেন আমার আমার ডেলিবারেশনের আমি শেষের দিকেই চলে আসছি বাট আগেন যেন ওয়েন আই টক অ্যাবাউট বিজনেস প্রসেস রি ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং আমার এক্সিস্টিং যে ব্যাংক যেখানে আমরা আমি কাজ করছি সেখানে বি হ্যাভ আন্ডার টেকেন এন্ড দিস ইজ অ্যান আগা খান আগা খান নেটওয়ার্ক ওনড ইনস্টিটিউশন এন্ড দিস ইজ আ ম্যান্ডেট ফর আস টু ট্রান্সফর্ম দিস ব্যাংক আমি যখন এটা আরম্ভ করি এই ট্রান্সফরমেশনটা even tar por por even four months uh, covid 19 happened you know what was surprising was that the that the transformation process or the the business process reengineering or business reengineering that we started um with the covid 19 it did not it did not tell us anything new you know it it reinforced it brought forward uh, some of the agenda that we had probably thought you know would be uh, taking place a year and a half to two years down the road but um the, but that got you know pulled forward but other than that if you really think about it you know it hasn't really given you know it has expedited the future uh, but it is not telling us anything significantly new so you know radical yes um was it unexpected probably not so much um 
So our session today is about how we are basically looking at near-term and long-term goals. Um, I mean, we as uh, as the more aged and probably haven't been in the banking industry for a longer period of time. Um, our generation, our organization, our direction, there's always this big question mark about you know um, compromising stability uh, with, let's say, innovation where technology comes in. Um, and it's it's a question of you know how do we do we really you know uh, what is what is the real compromise really you know is it really a stability um, I I don't think so you know there's nothing called stability we will be uh, we will be changing we will be adjusting to the changes and uh, innovation is a necessity for survival. I mean ekhane shesh korbo amar boktobbo ami ekhane ekta question ami dekhchi ekjon er kache eshe seta question ta ami pore shunachhi ekhane bolche je how we can redesign our overall business industry um very relevant question and i think um there's no particular one you know there's no magic bullet for this uh, it has to be addressed in all all different directions and, and i think um as much as we as banks we look at the the need for the redesign it's the regulators it's our customers you know all of these stakeholders will have to come together for us to really understand that that what the redesign is all about you know what purpose does it serve and and how do we deliver that um so it actor gelo um arek jener question just it's just some examples of business process reengineering um i mean you know i will dig deep into my uh, own experience here um uh, with city bank um other business process reengineering er ota ekta boro example city bank is chilo and which has been taken up by most of the other banks a lot of the foreign large foreign banks is um amra we established something called centers of excellence when centers of excellence it actually up in manila there is mumbai there is brazil there is sao paulo there is mexico city there is um and these centers of excellence uh, excellences are essentially set up as um assembly line you know production facilities a assembly line production facilities ami jeta apnader ke bollam je je buyer companies they will come in and they will do the back end processing these centers of excellence is were essentially given the same mandate to do the back end processing for the businesses so that in country operations you know they could free themselves up in generating business and in value add in adding value to the solutions that they offer to their clients and i hope that uh, answers the question um i mean um albab i mean um i think i will hand it over to you if you would like to read out any other questions uh, uh, there might be well of course uh, uh salim bhai uh, you know questions are be and of course given your uh, expertise and we are so happy to have somebody like you who has been around for such a long time and you know it's it's i was i was just telling the other day to a friend of mine that i'm glad salim bhai is back but again i'm i'm i'm, I'm sad that salim bhai was not there for a while when <laughs> when, when 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 i i I remember uh, ANZ Greenwich Bank ke jokhon I joined as a management trainee and I used to wait je kobe amake city nete pathano hobe kobe I'll have a glimpse of this man but sorry my it's 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 no no honestly say my it's it's so good to have you back now um, uh, and and uh, I I I have been you know from the back I studio I've been I've been listening to deliberation and and this is something that we are trying to uh prepare this whole idea of meet the maestro is without any interruption without any intervention let the maestro speak and we give them the floor uh and and you know because ami apnake ekta question korbo question korar por ami apnake badhagrosto korbo you know what happens is probably we lose the momentum so this is one program we have designed and i think today was the inauguration and i tell you i was so ex ecstatic and uh let me go back to the questions so um you some examples of bpr we have covered i guess and um, what is the basic need for business process reengineering is this one question that you have covered already um i i think i touched upon it um the business 
the need for business process uh, re-engineering. And, and uh, we, you know, Ami jira boli je je amra protect our organization. Ami amar current organization, you know, we we are doing a radical shift in in our strategy. But it is a constant process of adjusting to the changing environment, and the changing environment is driven by the progress that the country has made, the industries that have grown up here, the way that we look at risk and get smarter from our mistakes in the past, um, and. And, and above all, I think it is the expectation of the clients. Okay, um, our client, do the do the if they have a need um, for a certain certain you know service, and um, and we are not able to meet that that uh, uh, deliverable in time as uh, as per expectation, then we have to go back and ask ourselves what is it that we are missing here. So the idea of uh, business process re-engineering is not only about getting the technology you know, into it, but also looking at all the different technological solutions and see how they can complement each other, how the handoff is. And uh, that really drives it. So you know, again, going back to my initial statement, um, we have to reflect upon our own organization, understand you know, what is our uh, uh, goal five years, 10 years down the road. I'm a Jekuna, I'm not technological architecture to the bully connector organization if let's let's assume that you know covid 19 has given really shaken us up and it really demands us to to uh, relook at our, uh, our technology architecture if if this were a blank slate that i'm looking at i would be looking at uh, an, a risk arc, uh, uh, technology architecture to tell me what this organization is going to look like 10 years down the road so 10 years is the process of transformation that will have to be taking place. And you can do it in waves. You know, it does not have to be Akbar and Shwakishu Kurefilam, right? So you'd prioritize and you understand the moving parts and then, then undertake all these uh, uh, process changes along with the technological implementation and do it in, in waves. 10 years down the road, we don't have a crystal ball. We are not going to tell uh, anyone that 10 years down, down the road, this is what the business environment looks like. You know, it will be constantly evolving and there will be events like COVID-19 uh, uh, between now and, uh, and uh, you know, that impactful uh, between now and the next 10 years. So it's important that we do you know, 10 years and then we set milestones in between and basically look at milestone, readjust, retweak and revalidate the basic undertaking that we took uh, for our future in uh, 10 years down the road. I hope that answers. Thank you, Selim Bhai. I, uh, I personally have a question, uh, Selim Bhai. It, it is something that has been bothering me for some time now. That, you know, amra bikash to bikash amra kurte pari, amra nagut to bikash, nagut to nagut kurte pari. I know uh, uh, MFS is not your core area, but then again, given your expertise, I just want your uh, uh, ma thoughts that ikhani cross vendors of across uh, subscribers that you the ekhane bakshay ashe the kind of nagot to bikash or bikash to nagot how will uh bpr will play a role here i mean uh, mm -hmm. is there any relation with bpr i mean i am absolutely absolutely um there is and i think it goes back to one of the points that i mentioned earlier that um when we are talking about you know whether you talk about mfs or fintech in in general Right, um, you know, they they are eating our lunch and dinner, I guess. Uh, no doubt about that. Okay, um, the disintermediation, you know, and and it really goes back to the point of, does it add convenience to the end user, and and if it does to you, um, you know, why would you go to a bank? For me, for me as a bank, I need to recognize that, and I need to say, you know, if that is the case, how do I partner up with? The, the the MFSs, okay. How do I make sure that you know the the client accounts that I have can be tagged to um, the services that they offer, and then you know banks to MFS and MFS to banks. You know how can that work effectively and efficiently, and and you know that will obviously come in. The other part, which is becoming very interesting, and this is very topical as well, which is you know we I think 
I think Bangladesh has done a reasonably good job. There's a room for growth, um, absolutely. There's room for refinement, absolutely. But there's one area which is on the radar screen of a lot of uh, uh, fintech companies and the MFS, which is the, the remittance by Bangladeshi, uh, non-resident Bangladeshis overseas. Okay. And uh, that process integration through the MFS and through the banking system end to end is the is the next big game and i think uh, that will be you know not only um, not only beneficial to the industry as a whole but i think it's going to hugely benefit our uh, brothers and sisters who are overseas and uh, and these are the people you know who contribute to the to the national economy uh, more than you know all of us uh, sitting here and working working within the country so um, so that's the other person that is coming in i uh, lovely yeah, 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 certainly, certainly. Yes, it is It is a matter of urgency. Uh, this was discussed uh, in our strategy summit that was way back in April. And I hope the, uh, 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 the service providers are looking up on it because I remember uh, during the uh, time of uh, 1999 when you could only uh, send a text from AKL, AKTEL to AKTEL, which is Roby now, and uh, only Grammy to Grammy. Then um, that was the time when in uh, in the cup was the uh, general manager Grameen Phone and then we, me and uh, Grameen and uh, Ekatil has become friends. So you know, right. I think for the convenience of 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 all the subscribers, all the all the audience, I think this is one thing that we can really look at. And final question: You know that the financial value chain. Financial value chain is constantly evolving, China, Amadir, and this digital, uh, new digital dimension, especially uh, induced by this recent pandemic, has completely uh, this disruption. Amar Monahaje, Amadir value chain take at a nutunate dimension. So, Ikhani Amar Prashnaholo, how this change, actually, the change in the Value chain, chain, this business process BBR. How do you how do they keep pace with each other? If you really look 10 five years even down the road, with the new entrepreneurs coming in, the new entrepreneurs that they want to work in the financial sector, each actor value chain are AJ BPR will keep pace with each other. Um <laughs> very, very good question. I, I think um um it, it, it uh, you know it, it it is as attractive uh, this this uh, this proposition is you know it is also very challenging to get a grip on it um ami apnar um, startup er kotha ekhane ekhane bolechi right startup fund um and and that is a reflection of you know this the uh, what the pandemic has spurred the, the innovation uh, um the the um the business value providers, the business service providers, you know, all around. AJ um, value system home delivery and and to create a business model out of it and and essentially make a good amount of money. Um, if you ask the and, and if you ask the banks, the traditional banks, the traditional banks are probably you know they are a little behind. You know, it is not their cup of tea. I understand it. Um, we may not uh, we may not be looking at you know this as um, as an area where we can add value much, but I think we can support it. So initial after uh, take off um, there has to be a little bit of um, adventure here um, for the commercial banks. It has to be you know um, you know and and this very well equates to the dot com boom. In the in the late 90s that had happened so if you were looking at companies with a very high valuations those were essentially valuations given the companies were actually making incurring a loss but the valuations were given very high you know high valuations simply because you know there was confidence in the investor from the investors on the on the business model on the on the value that that particular business or that particular tech company was going to bring to the table right so so, I think uh, there's a parallel story, you know, uh, emerging here. You know, uh, when you're thinking about 
uh, supporting a, a, a startup, you know, just which has just taken off. And if there is, you know, um, if it's a, if it's a, you know, a completely new idea, um, a new venture that nobody has uh, taken on. And if you have the confidence, you know, would you be able to go out and and essentially, you know, find a way to finance them or find a way to uh, support them? Um, I don't think we are there yet. You know, it's in the minds of a lot of banks. Um, we are looking at a lot of these startups and trying to understand and trying to un trying to figure out how we can put the parameters around it and essentially be able to support them. Uh, these are going to be the future of the, of the uh, business uh, environment for us. A lot of the very big and successful companies are going to be coming out of it. So no doubt about it. But I don't think, um, at least you know, in my mind, and I could be totally off the mark here, in my mind, I don't think we are fully there yet. And we, I don't think we understand whether it is for us to add that value or not. So there's a so there's a, some degree of redefinition of the purpose of you know us um, uh, uh, adding value in respect to these uh, new initiatives that are coming up, the startups that are coming up. Silimai, thank you so much. Uh, you know, I wish we could uh, keep listening and keep talking, but definitely we'll make um other uh, uh we'll have other we have other agendas as well well we will definitely have dear audience we will definitely have selim bhai back with us it's always fun listening from him and um, i can tell you this this is my this is my uh, you know the myth master is mainly focused on how we can really be a part of this change you see change is constant and i can as selim bhai has said that the, at the J Pese Amra change take upulopti korte perichi over the pandemic. And I can tell you, assure you this J Pese Amadir overall transformation for the last 20 years. The space will speed up in next coming years. And it will take many folds. Ikhani, it is every change, every transformation, there is a fine corner of uh, opportunity. There's a fine line of opportunity always there. Uh, uh, so it's for the startups, even for the entrepreneurs who are still there, even for those who are in the financial sector at the moment and trying to elevate excellence to another. This is an opportunity where we can take leaf out of this discussion of someone like Mr. Salim Barka with nearly 30 years of uh, banking, uh, uh, 30, uh, about three decades of uh, 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 years of banking ex financial experience. We can take some leaf out of this discussion and please try and read more about BPR. BPR is the key to remain at pace. And uh, I assure you, every step that you take has to be value uh, addition centric. Within that value chain, every step that we take must be value addition centric. And it can only happen when we have a proper BPR in place. So thank you very much, audience. Selim Bhai, once again, uh, uh, we hope to uh, uh, catch up with you sometimes in the very near future. And uh, to all the audience, thank you for your questions. Mr. Tanbeen Siddiqui, Sheikh An Nafi Islam. Uh, Mr. Numan bin Zaman, Fahim Estahasin, Tanjum Yasmin, Rabbani Tamanna. Thank you all. Good night from Belor of Bangladesh and, of course, from UCB Presents, Meet the Master. Assalamu alaikum to you all. Thank you very much for the privilege. Thank you. Nice.